Jim Clouk, a.k.a. Checka Pro Joe here on the Checka Pro radio show. One of my favorite subjects, garage doors, and one of my favorite people in the world, Adam Greer from Easy Lift Garage Doors and more to talk about what garage baby, doors. Oh, there you go. How you doing, my friend? I'm good. You? I am living the dream. Thank you very much. You know, when I was young, I'm not going to say that I was a garage door opener abuser, but if you were to see what I did, you'd be like, that's not good. And these garage doors were heavy, but they got about 80 pounds heavier because little Jimmy, that's what I was called when I was a kid, would hang off the garage door while my friend would press the button up and down. And it was an amusement park. Um, so <laughs> find those videos on YouTube all the time. <laughs> and I don't I don't even know if a garage door opener is built the same. But my question today is. Is a 20-year garage door opener still something we should be using, or should we be replacing something that old? So, let's see, 20 years, does that put us, that puts us right at the 94 mark. That's when they started the safety sensor issues. Um, so, if you're older than 20 years, it's out of code. So, there's one simple thing. Look, if you don't have safety sensors, then we need to replace your opener and get you into a modern thing. The problem is, and like it or not, we used to build stuff the last 30 years back then. Mm. And so that's the argument. Be like, well, it still works. And you're right. It's out of code. Uh, it doesn't have any of the modern technology of Wi-Fi and all that kind of stuff. So it's a, it's one of those things that you have to almost, I don't want to say convince someone, but there is, there is truth. The technology is wore out and it's old. It could be the last time it works the next time you push the button. You're, you're on that kind of borrowed tag. And so, yeah, you could drive it till it breaks, then we'll be out here, or we can just preempt all that, get you into a modern, quieter. The one thing about 20 year old openers, they may still be working like a horse, sound like a horse, <laughs> sound like a freight train. So uh, they're not quiet. They weren't built to be quiet back then. They were built to move, move the door. And that's why they used to take the kids and lift them up and down. Today, that's pretty hard to do. If it, if it lifts a kid off the floor, it's actually because the forces are set incorrectly to uh, to not turn off. But you'll see it like we talked about on YouTube. You can find those kids. The, all everyone's, you know, green cameras now catching their children playing on the garage. Uh, but yeah, the ultimate answer is yes, you should. Not because it's not working, not because, but it's just time. Sometimes you just got to know when to shoot the horse, put out its misery, you know, and uh but that's not always easy to do, especially, you know, especially old timers. They're like, mm, that's still working. We're just going to keep going. Also, we're going to do it quits. Yeah. Uh, but technology's changed so much, Adam, with garage doors and garage door openers. Uh, products like MyQ, which, uh, you know, uses Wi Fi and has all kinds of technology. I mean, these garage door openers, they have cameras on them now and you can open and close them from anywhere in the world and you can let the delivery guy in and, and it, it it's like anything else, like our refrigerator's got technology in it, and we can talk to our house now and have it turn the TV on and, and turn the lights off. So I would say for the little investment that it costs to put a new garage door opener in, you're not just getting something that's safer and not going to break tomorrow like your 20-year-old one, but it also is going to bring you more value because it does so much. Yes. Yeah, it's not just that you can open it in the world. You can monitor. Mm. You're off on vacation. Nobody should be at your house. The door opens, you get notified. Uh, your door just opened. So you have to turn on the camera if you have the camera. You have a neighbor that's on hold. Hey, someone's in my garage. Go check it out. You know, you can make that phone call. Um, the thing about cameras today on these openers, they're 360 uh, video. Uh, you know, see everything. And it's two-way communication. Uh, just like our, you know, all the ring cameras on the front porch, that's what the cameras are now on the openers too. So it, if, you, if you're concerned about security and safety, absolutely change out the opener. We can get you this like the, that's, that's, that'll keep you confident. Um, and they keep you at peace with your own house. Uh, but if you're just worried about opening a door, yeah, I can't argue with it. It's still working, <laughs> but okay. Yeah. And you know, maybe if you have some old, outbuilding somewhere on acreage and you yeah. know you know you're a you know 60 year old retiree and you don't really care don't have kids or grandkids and it's it's fine 
But uh, when it comes down to safety and technology, you know, most of us who live in the suburbs, and by the way, I don't anymore, but I'm, uh, hey, I'm kind of like that old guy <laughs> out in the country, right? And, um, but my next garage door opener is going to be one that has technology where I will know what's going on. Even though in my environment, it's not as critical, Adam, as you know, because neighbors can't even drive my, you know, by my garage because I'm out in the middle of nowhere. But yeah. I still like to know, did I leave it open or why did it open? Yeah. Let me see what's going on. How yeah. did that raccoon press the button, right? <laughs> right. Well, and, and even that technology that uh, they'll need codes if it's a malfunction. Mm-hmm. One of the advantages to these modern uh, openers is it'll tell you what it is that happened, what caused it to reverse, what caused it to open. So there's a lot of troubleshooting that now can be done because of all this. And you can have it automatically, if it's LiftMaster, we're a registered LiftMaster opener uh, tech, you know, uh, company. And uh, the, we'll just get notifications from the customer. All we can do is send what just happened. They got the report got on the app. You send it. It comes to us. And we know exactly what the codes are and what's what we need when we get there. So from a peace of mind standpoint, go for the Get it all up. It, it, it pays for itself. It's the way to go. Adam, as always, thank you for joining me here on Checker Pro Radio. And for all of you who are listening and watching on video, all of Adam's information is located in the show notes. One click away, you can get everything you need for your garage door. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you.